Hello. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> I did realize I had never mind. It's a cur oh I see a cursor. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh, shit. That's such a cool magical uh cursor you have here. Uh let's just say it is my god trying to uh well mess with me. He's trying to mess with ah! you. Oh yeah, let's get you let's get you yeah. positioned. Woo! Uh, I, I made you a little bigger, but I'm, I'm gonna make you smaller on my end. We uh, everything is Wee! everything is lagging a little bit on my end. Ah, but... okay, okay. Oh my god, where the hell did my legs go? Oh no! <laughs> we Curses! God dang it! <laughs> this is this is to keep him from stealing things in my tea room. We have a we have a uh, a routine. What is it? Theft? That thief? What's it? What's it called? Like when you like stealing things? I forget the word. Klepto Kleptomania. Kleptomaniac. Kle yep, that isn't me. I may be a rogue. I may be the leader of a shrouded of the shrouded Fang thieves guild, but that isn't me. Oh, not a kleptomaniac. Nine times out of no. Not of baked goods. When it comes to gold and special weaponry, definitely. Ooh. However, when it comes to sweets, it's probably my daughter. <gasps> like nine times out of ten, it is probably my daughter. Okay, I'll pack some up just for her. I'll let you bring it home with you. Knowing her, she will probably but she will probably smell it the moment I walk through the door and she will go into full piranha mode. <gasps> I do, not, I do not want that either because oh, no. she is terrifying. Oh no! Like she is, but she is a four foot five goblin. Dang, she's taller than me. Don't ask how. <laughs> oh my god! Damn! <laughs> wow! Oh my god! Okay. Uh, before before yeah. we get started started, could you give me your name, pronouns, and then time zone, please? Sure, Lass. My name is Barsumbel Wolfric Videk and Tassius. My pronouns are either he, him, or that bastard, according to the guards. Nice. <laughs> and my time zone is, I mean, is Pacific Standard Time. Yay! Could you give me a quick, if you had to describe your content in three words, how would you describe your content? Chaotic, scuffed, extra scuffed. Uh, extra scuffed. Woo! <laughs> that is welcome here. Welcome to our cozy talk show where I often have technical problems and do not address them. So, ooh, you're oh, you're in the right place. I mean, that's, oh, definitely. That's basically me. I mean, look at me right now. My mouth isn't moving. <gasps> I see it a little bit. Uh, uh, yeah, I got to figure out what's going on. I think your voice is coming through loud and clear. I love your voice. I hope you know that. It is such a Thank good, you. like, not a, well, I guess radio voice is what they would have called it. So I'm going to say a VTubing voice now. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I mean, it's kind of what I was going for. I wanted this commanding presence, almost like like every VTuber has their little quip or their little with them. Uh, like yours that. is that your runaway princess. Uh -huh. um, what else is there? Uh, a friend of mine, Lasgar, is a orc blacksmith. Hmm. Um, then there's the more popular ones like B Shoujo. Uh, what else is there? Hollow Life. They all have their quirks. That's true. I wanted to have. A commanding presence. Hence why I look like a member of a Skyrim Thieves Guild. <laughs> and not to mention also have this commanding thing voice. Mm. It works out very well. Oh, thank you. I see the story. Thank you kindly. Are you a fan of lore? Are you a lore fan? Oh, I am more than a lore fan. Oh. I don't forget my, my friend wrote my lore. <gasps> And he is a published author. Ooh, so I'm not even playing. There's like pages. There's like a story here. It's not just like a snippet. He will kill me for saying this, but there is a full book <gasps> he is writing. That's so cool. I'm not I'm not even playing around. I have the PDF. He told me to own, like if I feel it is ready to publish it. <gasps> Unfortunately, I have no idea how to go about publishing it. You know. Like I, to a publisher, I'll say because you could just put it up on Twitter. Yeah. But I, yeah, I have no idea how no, to do publishing. No, there, <laughs> it is four hundred pages. That's so cool. Is, wait, it, but like there are multiple portions of it where I'm like, holy shit! Have you what? read it all? Did you read all of it? Yeah. Oh, like 
oh my god, there are multiple occasions for like changing models for different one. Like for instance, Ooh. let's see if I can. I recently got this one. Let's see if this one works. Ooh. Please, where is it? Agrava. We'll find out. Pew. Ah. Let's go. Crabtum Bell in the house. <laughs> I like it. Oh, that's perfect. Ah. Now you now you're like a tea sipping height. <laughs> Even though I look like a crab. You do look like a crab. I'm not... It's the goblin energy. Damn right it is. <laughs> like I don't know why there's a part of it where my character gets turned into a crab. Oh, like and a I'm literal like, crab. Oh, oh. Like the, half crab, half man, which is this model basically. Nice. Yeah. So yeah, no, I'm like trying. I, mean, I had to, I had to restrain myself from bursting out into laughter when I read that part Reading. because I knew, like, that part of his, um, I mean, my character's backstory, or at least the lore book, as I'm calling it for now. Uh huh. Because I know that my friend made that just because, but just out of pure spite. Spite? Ma <gasps> spite. No. Because of the fact. Mainly because, well, okay, probably spite, but it was probably because of the fact that uh, I once called a crab rangoon he made n average. Oh, you can't do that. They'll turn you into a crab. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> I just I just rolled with it. That's so funny. <laughs> I love cra crab rangoons. I, too, would turn you into a crab, though, if you said my, my cooking was average. Wow. <laughs> wow just lie to me bartender if i ever have um if i ever cook you anything just lie to me and say it's the best thing you've ever eaten <laughs> noted but oh. as a grave as a grave born it's uh let's just say cooking isn't really um well it doesn't it's not that it doesn't agree with me mm. it's just i can't taste <gasps> barely no taste Barely any taste. Barely. What do you have a do you have a favorite flavor? Is there something that really sets us, uh, sets apart from the rest of the flavorless tastes? Well, there are caramel. Oh. Caramel. It's it's weird, but that's one of the few flavors I can taste, like properly taste. I mean, everything else I can taste, but it's like gold. Sort of like how mm. when you have poor vision, it, everything starts to become blurry. Yeah. Think of it like that. <gasps> taste. But caramel just pops through. Oh, yeah. It's one of the few things. Not to mention my personal favorite tea. Gold Tips Imperial. Tea! Oh, my God. Did you bring tea to tea time today? Are you drinking any tea? Sadly, no, actually. I was thinking of it, but... Oh, my then... God. I'm kidding. No, you're fine. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's because, like, I looked at... I was going to actually make tea. I had a full thing of Gold Tips Imperial ready Ooh. for it. But then I looked at the expiration date. <gasps> yeah, no, these things went, but these things went bad to, I mean, like, what was it? Six months ago? Oh, no. And I'm kind of, like, paranoid about tea leaves. Ooh. So. I, I have very low standards for tea, so I probably would still drink it, but, you know. I mean, with... With me, when it comes to anything, and you're probably going to find this real heresy let's, for me. Let's find out. Okay. I add espresso shots to anything. Ooh. Like, I am... So, I, like, I'm a college student uh -huh. in real life. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I have not had a proper night's sleep because of all the classes I take. Aw, that's hard. So, definitely. So, to mediate this... I have at least six or seven espresso shots a day. Oh, buddy. How is your heart doing? Do you still have a heart? Have you checked recently? Oh, my God. I have. I have. The nurses ask me how I'm still alive, and I give them the same answer that has been my motto and my yearbook quote back in high school. Oh, no. If it doesn't kill me, it's not trying hard enough. Oh, my God. <laughs> that fits very well with the, the Thieves Guild leader. I'll tell you what. Definitely. Oh, I mean, my God. Like... I mean, like, um, can we compare lores, though? Because okay. I always love to see, like, who had it shittier in their life. So, uh, or, like, who had it rougher. Okay. It's kind of like a thing for me. Ooh. But, uh, so, my whole backstory is I was born in the frozen north. Nice. Uh, Very cold. 
My father was a, well, a Jarl, or a, the leader of our little clan. Okay. My mother was a graveborn. Okay. In the lore, a graveborn is basically like a necromancer. Ooh. Somebody who's willing to give their life and serve in death. <gasps> cool. Unfortunately, my sister Tiamat and myself were born dead. Not a graveborn. Ooh. This is actually pure death. Oh, just like that. So, yes. Oh, no. So, my my mother made a pact with a, well, a rather dangerous necromancer god. Uh-huh. Who, I, hold on, let me look at this. Okay, okay, okay. Because I have the, I have the notes right here. Oh, he brought my notes. Wrote. He brought the notes. Let's yes. go. He got the notes. Kazam. That was the name of it. Kazam. The Lord, the Lord of the necromancers. Uh-huh. That's literally what he's calling it. But anyways, <laughs> enough I'm roasting my friend, but basically what happened was after Kazam blessed me and my sister, okay. we were both given gifts, Ooh. I guess you can say. His way of showing that there is no ill will. Oh, or... nice. My sister, Tiamat, was given the gift of magic. She became, she was, well, the best of the best, I guess you could say. Nice. A sorcerer. A sorcerer in her own way. But it also turned her skin to a shade of violet. <gasps> She's purple. Let's go. What a great color. Not, yeah. As for me, well, I guess you can say I became one with the shadows. Stealthy and when nigh impossible to see in the right men in light. Ooh. Uh, basically the perfect loadout for a thief. Nice, yeah, you're set. Unfortunately, this came with a debt. A debt my mother never paid off, because that debt was that when me and my sister turned 17, she would have to slaughter us and give our souls back. Blood for blood. Wow. Because we never did this, Lord Kassam, Kassam sent a, well, a group of Rival Vikings, odd way. <gasps> Not the rival they Vikings. Killed, they killed the entire clan, leaving me and my sister homeless. Aww. And, well, we kind of went our separate ways. <gasps> you all stay I, together? We did for a time, but that was until... I, well, we didn't after I was cursed. <gasps> I'm a curse. I mean, no. A warlock actually cursed me with... Uh, Something that still scares me to this day. Mm -hmm. At any random time within my life, my sister will be the death of me. Ooh. She will literally... It doesn't say that she will betray me. It didn't say that I will... I mean, that she will poison me, anything like that. It literally just said that she would be my death. <gasps> I don't know how that means. So we went our separate ways. All I know is that she is currently, well, somewhere in a small town set up as a local apothecary. And as for me, I went my way and joined the Shrouded Fang, one of the local thieves guilds, mm -hmm. making my way up through the ranks till I became its head. <gasps> Yay! Uh, I mean, there's more to it. That's for this, but I mean, that's currently the story, con or story considering, or well, concerning this model. Ooh, except for the crab part. Oh yeah, no, except for the crab part. That <laughs> is like a side, that's a side story. That's a best. side story. That's a bonus. <laughs> yeah. So what about your story, Lass? Mm. Uh, mine is very short and you definitely win the had it harder card. I lived a cushy um, royal life down in hell. And then uh, ran away from my responsibilities. And now I'm here. Period. <laughs> so, you ran from hell. I did. I left. I escaped. Let me... Why am I getting the... What is it? Oh, God. What was the name of that anime? I just I just finished it today. Anime? Give me some uh, Give me some names. Sleepy, Pri Sleepy Princess in the Demon Castle. I, oh, I haven't seen that one. It's on my list. <laughs> It's so cute. I know. I just finished it today. Oh my gosh. Like, I don't recommend? know why, but your story, your story is like, it's giving me that vibe. Ooh, really? Maybe I should watch it. Yeah. If you're looking for good animes, like, my, but so, 
you're in luck. Me and my friends are both weeaboos. Weeaboos. Like, I mean, hard, hardcore weeaboos. Hey, I also For like him, anime. He loves the fantasy genre. Oh, like isekai or like fantasy in a different like way? Like, just fa fantasy in general. Like, if it's mm. as long as it's a fantasy setting, like, there's magic, there's dragons. Cool. Uh, that sort of stuff. Like, I mean, he loves Konosuba. Konosuba's a good one. Damn right it is. In my case, I love the more sci-fi based ones, Ooh. which is ironic considering my model is a fantasy character. Hey, you can be <laughs> a multifaceted person. That's okay. Damn right. <laughs> but uh, I love I love Gundam. Like it's Gundam. like Gundam Wing. Oh. Gundam Wing Zero is just, oh, it's my favorite. Good stuff. Uh, Did you watch Cyberpunk? Especially... Are you a Cyberpunk fan? No, I haven't gone to it yet. <gasps> if you like the sci-fi. <laughs> Did you ever play, do you, are you a TTRPG player? D&D? Yes, d uh, heavy, heavy D&D. My friend is our, I mean, my roommate, that same character who wrote, or the same guy who wrote my model I see the is my DM. There it is. Ah, oh, that sounds like a good campaign. That's a good setup. It is not. It is not. It is terrifying. Oh. He is like Dark Souls Ooh. level of DM. Ooh. Oh, no. <laughs> Session one, he threw a homebrewed golem at us that he called, and I quote, Castle Golem Galathar at oh, us. Oh, no. It was a colossal beast, and I looked at its stats after the session, or after we finally ran away from it. I'll say, yeah, there's no way it you was thought that in one. It was basically a Tarrasque as a golem. No! Oh my gosh! Did he want you guys to die? What's the what's the what's the story here? Plot. He made us made. I mean, he asked us to have two or well, what was it? Three characters ready. Uh, I only had one. Th I only had one ready, thinking that he was just joking. No. Well, apparently, the first characters weren't supposed to be our best characters. Ooh. They were destined to die. Da dun What a good DM. That is a compelling storyline. Or it's a challenge. I mean, it's... it's oh, no, he just DM. wanted a dick, but he just wanted to be an asshole. Or that. <laughs> you know, some people, some people do be playing it like that. Okay, okay. Yeah, uh, but, but we got it back. We got it back good because he forgot how good I am and not to mention our other roommates, who's also my girlfriend, are good at min-maxing and tag-teaming. Let's go. <laughs> Oh, min max that stuff so what's your what's your favorite class to play what character Ooh. was that is it rogue oh uh, it really de are you a rogue it really depends on <laughs> yeah i'm a rogue but <laughs> it really depends on what i want to go because i normally go rogue as my main checks out but it really depends on how i want to rogue Ooh. do i want to go more tactile with traps then i go artificer oh, okay do i want to be a total do i want to be a total edge lord i go blood hunter Oh, I haven't played with a Blood Hunter before. Oh, it is fun. Tricky because there are, but so at least with my roommate style of DMing, we barely go, go up against creatures that have actual blood. It's normally um, like undead. Is, or... I mean, technically, undead do have a form of blood, and I argued with him at this. <laughs> perks of being in. Min maxing. So my, Min maxing. Oh, no, it's not that. Because my DM has, or yeah, my DM has made it perfectly clear. If we can argue it using actual scientific fact, he will allow it. Nice! And technically, the undead do have a form of blood. It's the bone marrow. Technically, Ooh. that's where blood cell, white, red, and also platelets come from. Mm -hmm. Yep. So by that standard, that means that that's technically blood. Yeah. Thus, zombies have blood. Cool. Okay. How do, yeah. we, how do we know that zombies have bone marrow? Uh, technically, if they're able to, um, I mean, if they have bones, they have bone marrow in it. It's just decaying slowly. Mm, what if there's like an old zombie? Does it still have bone marrow? Does it still count if the bone marrow is too decayed? Oh, no, no. The moment it becomes an ancient zombie, then that won't work. Okay, okay, okay. This is the distinction I needed. Not that I'm going to play a blood hunter with this DM ever, but I just want to be prepared, you know, eventually. Yeah, no, if you ever play, if you ever, uh, okay. <laughs> I'll give you his at after the stream, but trust me, he is terrifying. Ooh. He's good. Don't, he's very compelling with his stories. I mean, I have I not... Bet. Man, like, I have not left a single campaign without tears in my eyes begging to continue the story, <gasps> even though I know I'm going to get killed in the next few sessions. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Yeah, I mean, he's... 
He's a good guy. That's a he knows how to make a compelling story. 10 out of 10. Nice. Yeah. I give me that ad, I'll bug him. And I'll be like, okay, so I'm not an ancient zombie, but but an aging zombie. He was, <laughs> you'll still want to strangle him, though. Oh. I'm not, I'm not even playing because, okay. <laughs> We had a session where we came up against, or we came across a tribe of cobalts okay. that he called Brobalts. Bro like they were. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, they were. They're basically surfers, but as cobalts. Oh, that's he hyped so them fun. Up so much. <laughs> like he, this was the only time he spoke in what's called or what is it, uh, cash money? Like he was all like, "That ain't cash money, bruh." That ain't cash money, bruh. What was that, bro? Bro! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Turns out their leader was the big bad the entire time, and we had been traveling with him and hyping him up as if he were our bro the entire time. <gasps> the betrayal! I too would cry if my main squeeze, my biggest bro, was the big bad. <laughs> oh my god. He had a shield that he used as a surfboard, because at the time, I was playing a, uh, what was it? a rogue druid with tidal wave Ooh. and it would always be a sort of a tag team combo to have him surf on his shield while i use tidal wave <gasps> oh my gosh the dm must have been like rolling with laughter internally every time you guys were getting closer just inching closer to your demise your eventual betrayal oh no yeah no i he he has a good poker face i will give him that oh i can't relate like, i can't lie he... to save my life <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, we nearly all killed him after that. Like, I'm not even playing around. I had to hold off my girlfriend from hitting him over the head with a stick. Get him. Get him, girl. Get him. <laughs> Put him in his place. Smack. <laughs> Bonk. Let's go. Oh, it was so much fun. That sounds like so much yeah, fun. Yeah, no, that uh, God. Those are the days. Yeah. Good D&D campaigns. Good stuff. Good stuff. So Rogue oh, is like our usual... It's just what flavor of rogue does Bartov want to play? Oh, definitely. And not to mention what race. Ooh. Because I always, like, the way I go about making my rogues is I always go for race first. Okay. I know this sounds weird, but if I want to, like, sometimes I just put it all the races, even homebrew races that my DM allows, Ooh. onto one of those, like, uh, what is it? Those spin the wheel kind of sites. Okay. And then just pick it. And then I'm like, how can I turn this into a rogue? Ooh. Or some tricky ones, like, say, a Goliath rogue. Yeah, that's interesting. <laughs> tiptoe, tiptoe. Sneaky. No, no, no. I remember my um, first ever Goliath rogue. Uh -huh. I named him Mr. Bubbles. Mr. Bubbles. <laughs> and Aww. I put everything into intimidation. So <gasps> when he snuck by somebody and they spotted him, he would just roll intimidation checks. And say you didn't see me you didn't see anything that's so fun <laughs> oh but i will admit my favorite race to play with um rogue is has, it's got to be aarakocra or Ooh. kinku isn't that those are the bird ones right yep kinku because raven rogues Ooh. i could just <laughs> and mix in yeah. yeah exactly and with aarakocras and their ability to fly i could just oh broken swoop over the Oh, definitely. Correct. Especially if you use, especially if you use, uh, what is it, Artificer? Uh huh. Because my DM allows me to, or he made it a rule that if you can, you know the actual materials or can give a proper blueprint, he will allow you to create it. Ooh. Like I mean, a actual blueprint. Like designing a blueprint. Yeah. He banned me from doing that because, you know, I'm an engineering major. Oh, uh, too cracked. Too cracked. Can't have I that. Ended up making, I ended up making a Warforged sidekick that had a ballista on its back. <gasps> Let's go! And named it Mrs. Bubbles. <laughs> Mrs. Bubbles. Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Bubbles. We love the happy couple. <laughs> oh, no. They weren't a couple. They weren't couples. They were brother and sister. Even better! <laughs> Yeah, no, it was so much fun. <gasps> Watching the hope from his eye, from the DM's eyes, just fade. Fade. All hope gone. Like, because he had he had this grand plan 
for the last session where we would face off against an army of flesh golems. Ooh. Like, here's the scene. Okay. So I'm, I'm watching. most of our party, ha most of our party had just fought the big bad. We, but like the big bad, barely any any damage done. Most of our party had already used either second wins, uh, all of our spell slots. We had nothing left up our sleeves. Uh huh. He dimension doors out of there, but we track him using a homebrew spell. Ooh. We track him down. We use catnap to um get back our. Or get back at least second wind, uh, uh -huh. action surge, stuff like that. Oh, yeah. And a homebrew spell that we call the pod, the pod. In order to get back... Yeah. It's to help our spellcasters get back their spell slots. Oh, that's because, gotta be so you know, important. Normal. Versus, oh, it was. Versus like a long rest or short rest. Yeah, here's the unfortunate thing, though. Our oh. Me, the, our rogue at the time, I was playing a half-orc. Okay if I remember correctly, what, snuck in to see what kind of damage or what we were dealing with. He had dragon eggs in a laboratory. And I mean all species. Your, deal, your chromatics, your metallics, Tiamat, Bahamut. Ooh. He had them all. We had no idea what we were going with. So our second rogue, my friend whose character was named Annex at the time. Okay. He decided to use his homebrew items, which were called lavender bombs, to put us all to sleep in order to sell us all out to fake out the big bat oh. to get in close. It didn't work on my character because A, I rolled pretty damn high, nice. and B, Mr. Bubbles bitch slapped me awake. <gasps> Ding dong! Wake up! <laughs> so the three of us took the rest of our party on sleds to present him to the big bad. Okay. The big bad saw through our deception oh, uh -oh. and summoned an army of flesh golems. Okay, here's our army. Here's our big fight. I okay. I had a scroll of, did, oh, what was it called? Um, Dead magic zone. Ooh. Basically, anything magical constructs or not could would be destroyed by this so like since dead magic zone negates all magic yeah that makes sense okay there was 15 enemies that just dropped <gasps> because i activated this scroll whoop whoop like whoop. Uh oh whoop. uh oh what what happened I'm just, I'm thinking of your DM. If, like, oh. if I was the DM and oh. 15 enemies immediately dropped, I would be so angry. Yeah, no, he looked, he was just like, can I have a break for a second? It's Walked not out of the dwarves. We watched him go out to his car and just scream to the top of ah. his lungs, fuck, I should have not, fuck, why did I let them keep that damn scroll? Oh, we no. We had that scroll since session one. Oh, that's And here's funny. the funny thing. Here's the best, here's the kicker uh -huh. of that. Mr. Bubbles wasn't affected because he wasn't a magical construct. He was a scientific construct. Ooh. <laughs> oh, and here's the icing on that already iced up cake. Oh, ice that cake for me. Add it a cherry. Add some strawberries. The dragon sided with us. Oh, why? So, because one of our party members, uh, what was it, a cleric, if I remember correctly? Okay. My girl, yeah, my girlfriend's cleric, or my girlfriend's character was a dragonborn cleric. Oh, there's your in, She baby. spoke the language. There's your in. She spoke, <laughs> yeah. She told them what he was going to do with the, um, with the dragon eggs, uh -huh. because while, while he was... While the big bad was distracted by the fact that his flesh golem army had just been Dropped. dispelled, yeah, yeah, she managed to use. I mean, she managed to blind him, grab a notebook, or well, not exactly that. It was just like a. Actually, she just wanted the notebook. We had found out a nice. lot of the info on what he was planning throughout the entire session. Okay. Okay. So yeah, no, she told them in perfect draconic what he was doing, and. We just left and watched all these like dragons just tear him to shreds. Release utter hell, burn. We didn't have to do anything. It was beautiful. 
What a time. Did you break your DM after that? Did he bring it around again or did he just let y'all win? Did he <laughs> raise the white flag? Oh no, he he ended up strangling me. Nice. Like real life. Like actually like, you damn it. Damn you. D -D. Damn you, Bart. Ah. Uh, ah. <laughs> uh, so much. Bringing friends to get Bringing friends together and also simultaneously breaking them apart, too. Oh, yeah. It's the enemies to lovers arc. Oh, definitely. <laughs> like, it, this was pro this was probably his a villain origin story. Because next, like, our current campaign, which is taking place directly after these events, uh -huh. I had a character that was a shipwreck golem. Ooh. Like, a literal Ship? shipwreck. But as a golem, like the whole crew was tied to the vessel. This was my first time playing barbarian Ooh. and fighter at the same time. Yeah, no, he killed it off in session one with a, uh, what is it? A uh, torpedo? I, I run, nope. Dead magic zone, scroll. Ah, uh, he says, let me, uh, let me just throw this one back at you. Dink. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. So that was kind of karma. <gasps> yeah. We love the the give and I mean, take between a DM and a party. Oh, definitely. I mean, I kind of, to be honest, I kind of did deserve that because I was taunting him the entire time. Like, come Why on. Are you taunting him? Like, are you being a sore winner? Boo boo. No, it's not that. It was boo -boo. just that I was found it hilarious because he was hyping up this battle throughout the entire week before we actually had our D and D session. Mm. Like saying, "Ooh, are you sure you want to go with that strategy?" or <gasps> Ooh, I don't know if you want to keep health potions on you. Barbie oh, boy. you probably... Yeah. No, he was taunting us. So this was validated. <gasps> oh, no. Validated pettiness. <laughs> oh, oh, hang on. So I realized I don't, have a, I don't have a collab command. Ah, sorry. Oh. <laughs> Wait, what's a collab? Okay. What's a col collab command? Usually it will just pull up whoever you are collabing with. Ah, cool beans. Oh God, today's stream was, speaking of collabs, uh, or at least today's stream. God, nothing worked at first. Is it this one? Nothing for you? But, yeah, like I was working on my thing, or I was uh, playing Bioshock, uh -huh. the first one. I couldn't hear any sound through my headphones. It oh. was only coming through my actual monitor. Oh dear. I had to restart the game twice in order to help make sure. No! Yeah. Uh, oh, well. It is what it is. It do be like say. that. Welcome to live theater. Welcome to live streaming. <laughs> it's uh, so true. I, uh, I, I will admit, I like the setup. You possibly send me the assets for this so I can... Because, like, I, whenever I do my collabs, I like to put little things on my guests like table as well it's so fun yeah there's a website called i'll keep it in chat it's called irasu toya and it is all free to use images from like a japanese yeah. illustration company <gasps> Ooh. and so you'll probably see you gotta... if you watch any clips they're in all of those oh that's awesome thank you enjoy there's like literally anything you could use if you know japanese you can type in japanese but recently like this year they've added an english search function that is not perfect but it'll get you where you need to go yeah yeah. I mean, it is what it is, as they saw, as I always say. It's all in this kind of like crayon esque, like a little, a little bubbly drawing style. Very cute. Yeah, always fun. Please enjoy, please enjoy. So, what kind of, what kind of content do you have coming up soon? What can we expect from you? Well, I'm still trying to find an animator for this, but Ooh. I am finally starting to get around to my second model. <gasps> Yay! Oh, so you're not, you're not self rigged. No, too no, much, I am too not. Too much engineering I, going on. I may be an engineer, <laughs> but I am not a 3D modelist. Mm, oh, do you, are you trying to get a 3D model? But, oh, not exactly in that sense. Like, I just want my... I'm mean, like, I'm not... I mean, I'm not a 3D model. Uh, eh, not a 3D it's model. Okay. I'm not a good artist. Ah, it's okay. That's what I mean. That's okay. That's yeah. Okay. It gets expensive. I mean, the rigging process, that's something I am looking into because I want to start doing more with my engineering in terms of mm. well animation and all that yeah have you animated but, before uh no not really honestly it can help you understand some of the like foundations and there's good youtube resources oh true 
I mean, the most I've done with animation entirely was, uh, God, what was it? Project in, shit, what was it? Sophomore year of college where I had to, uh, animate a arm to show all the muscles moving. <gasps> like I had to do that in full detail. Interesting. Yeah, no, that was creepy because the fact that I didn't know how the arm worked in the first place and the muscles, like no textbook shows the muscle groups perfectly. So I literally had to go to a, and this is going to sound a bit creepy. So ah, did you need like a cadaver? Chat. Yes. Yes, yeah. I did. I went to a mortuary or a morgue mm. just to, um, yeah, I know this was the only time I've ever done a dissection, but I know for my, for my, um, specific kind of biomechanical engineering i will have to do a lot of like dissections but i had to dissect a body to look at how the muscles move mm -hmm. and contract it yeah that's interesting fun traumatizing yes because i had never dissected a body it's formaldehyde is like the worst part of it oh god that oh it's a smell that oh, lives god. with you rent free <laughs> Freshman year of college, having to wake up at 7 a.m. for my bio or for my bio lab. Uh huh. And the first thing we did was dissect a human heart. No. We. That was not fun. It do be that like that. It made it what made it worse was the fact that we got random hearts. We didn't get perfect human hearts. Oh. And by that I mean I ended up with a smoker's heart. Oh, interesting. How did that look? A lot of black gunk. Mm. Fun fact, that's actually all the um, stuff from tobacco on it. Yeah. That stuff stays. Yeah. That stuff stays. And it's just like it was like a car, almost like a, what was it? Like gum that's been around for way too long. Ooh, yeah. Like you've been chewing on it for too long and it starts to get hard and uh, like irritating to just chew. Yeah. If you can, stop smoking early. Agreed. But mead is always good. Ooh. <laughs> and I don't mean weed. I said mead. Oh, M-E-A-D. The honey, the honey okay. liquor? Oh, it's so much good. It's delicious. So good. I had a good, like, fruity uh, one. There's, like, a berry honey mead I had one time. Oh, it was gorgeous. Yeah, don't do that to mead. <laughs> I forgot to mention, I'm a bartender. Ooh, cool. Yeah. Grade three. I'm in a grade three currently working on my grade five. Nice. Is there no four? Yeah. Mm, honestly, I'm not too sure. My uh, instructors never mention a grade four, so I assume it goes all the way up to five. Okay, I know nothing about it, but okay. All right. Yeah, it's not when it, when so the grade system isn't like um you go first grade, second grade, third grade in terms of classes. Mm. These are more for classifications. Like, oh, um, like an E driver's license or an A driver's license, like that kind of thing. Not exactly. It's more like a... Think of it like a restaurant's I mean, tier system. Like oh, you okay. always see a two-star, three-star restaurant. Grade fives are the equivalent to a five-star restaurant. Ooh. Like those are the fancy ones. That's like you getting good drinks. <laughs> oh no, no. The bar all bartenders know how to make the good drinks, but it nice. all depends on how much responsibility you're willing to take. Oh. Grade fives have to Yeah. Grade fives have to deal with not only making the drinks and mixing them. But also checking inventory, trying out new drink combinations. Oh, fun! Uh, yeah, I mean, technically, I'd be considered a grade three point five because I make my own custom drinks. Hell, I had a tweet about it. Ooh, not oh, uh, I made a tweet about all the different kinds of drinks that I make. Mm. What was it? A couple months back, where I looked at different VTubers and thought of what drinks I know how to make. Or what custom drinks I've made yeah. that would fit them. Oh, that's cool. For example, for example, though, your character, ah. I would say, ah. hmm, very random sort of thing. Strawberry surprise. I it's was gonna uh, say something strawberry. Yeah. Yeah, uh, strawberry vodka. What is it? Two ounces of that. Yeah. Or what is it? Vanilla liqueur. <gasps> Uh, normally we don't do this at, I mean, normal bars don't do this, but the one I work at, we have ice cream. So I would add in maybe a scoop of vanilla. Delicious. 
Shake it all up, serve it over ice, and then club soda on top just to give it a little fizz. Oh my god, that sounds so good. Is that a you special? Yeah. yeah. <gasps> Strawberry surprise. I want one. If I ever come find you, you gotta make me one. <laughs> that sounds delicious. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't mind. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah, it's... Unfortunately, we're getting near the end of our time, which oh, I'm yeah. so sad about <laughs> because I love hearing you. But um, I have a couple um, questions that I've been asking all of my other guests. Would you like to answer them? Ask away, lass. Yay! Okay, number one. What is something you would tell your younger self? I know what you're about to do. Do not do it. I, mean, I know I know that looks fun. Don't. Ooh, interesting. Yeah. <laughs> and it's not VTubing. It's got nothing to do with VTubing. Okay, I'm not going to press into it, but... Yeah. All right, everybody in chat, just take a second. Let that sink in. Whoever needs to hear that. If you do, if, if you're scared and you instead should go do the thing, go do the thing. But if you are considering doing the thing, it is not a good thing. Um, Bart says Don't no. do the thing. Don't do the thing. <laughs> you yeah. know who you are. You know who you are. All right. Question <laughs> number two. What are your goals for the end of year, for next year, and for 10 years down the road? Uh, Well, for me, I want to get my PhD in 10 years. Nice. Like I really... I, mean, I wouldn't feel satisfied with my um, college unless I actually get... Like I'm an actual, well, proper, or I'm a proper expert in my field. Do it. I believe uh, in you. You have the passion. Thank you. Well, make it to grade five as a, I'm gonna make it to a grade five bartender. And a PhD. That's my, yeah, my PhD. Those are my two goals. Nice. <gasps> That's yeah. so exciting. Okay. Last one is what is something that you like about yourself? Damn, I need to look at my list because I got a full list. No, I'm just kidding. Oh. I'm just kidding. You do your list. I, I have to grab something really my fast. Personality. You do. You you just list it off. You list it off to chat. Mm. Well then, okay. My beard. I love my beard. It is fancy as hell. Uh, I have to admit, I really do also like my personality. I, I mean, you'll never see me bullshit anybody at all. I'm always straight to the point. I always try to make well, good friends, even if I stutter a lot, but I always keep to my word. And my personal favorite, my voice. Like, I know that sounds super egotistical to say, but I love the way I enunciate my words. I've worked very hard on cultivating this uh, little voice of mine. And I have to admit, I really do like the friends I've made along the journey. There's a bunch, like my pain in the ass roommate who just walked in. Hey, y'all. Yeah, but yeah, no, I like the friends I've made too along the way. I'm back. Ah. <laughs> how, was hey. it? how was this journey of self-discovery <laughs> and self-love? This was actually pretty good. Nice. This was fun. Oh, yeah. also, well, this was a distraction, by oh. the way. Oh, oh. Am I... Yeah, you're going to find a lot of shit missing. Aw, not my good teacups. Not just your good teacups. You're going to find a lot. My good and teapots. I just <laughs> my good sports. Everything. No! Everything. Mm. Like, everything that isn't on this table and behind me, gone. Gone. Oh, no. Not my, not my Furby dolls. Oh, God. <laughs> God, that just making me feel old all of a sudden. Furbies! Oh. You know, do you, there was an image floating around of, uh, what was it, one of the characters from Has Been Hotel playing a piano with a bunch of Furbies on it. I haven't seen it. I made a Furby piano. Did you really? One. <laughs> it was awesome. Oh my god, I'm so happy for you. I never made a piano. The I think I only ever had one. I didn't have a whole group. <laughs> the dean of the engineering department had that thing torn to shreds because he was sick of always hearing what was it a uh, mama mia played on it on the furby piano let's go <laughs> best thing ever it sounds like you have such an interesting <laughs> legacy both behind you and ahead of you <laughs> definitely i'm so excited i mean to see i where know that yeah i mean i know that long after i graduate this call my college that there will be people still talking about half the shit i have done the good and the bad. Both in terms of engineering. Oh, definitely in terms of the good and the bad. I mean, we once got in trouble with County Sheriff <gasps> by a complete accident. Oh, no. Okay, that'll have to wait for our next tea time. 
yeah, no, I want to come back and tell that story because that is a doozy. As long as you don't get me a, D a demonetized or B no, in trouble no, no, with the not, FBI, then I'm okay. Technically, it's not as bad as you think, but it was bad for me because I had no, but it was complete accident that we discovered this. <laughs> Oops. Drugs. Actually, I don't know what it was. <laughs> no, 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 no. It was more engineering, if anything. Engineering. I'm so curious. Okay. Dang, yeah. you've done okay. such a good job. Now I feel like I need to invite you back on. <laughs> Join me on Monday. <laughs> <laughs> I will try. I'll think about it. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'll send the I'll send the the applications for next season into your DMs. I'll be like, hey, <laughs> remember me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I would love that. I would seriously love that. And maybe I'll do like an all stars esque situation where I can bring Ooh. people from the past. Maybe I'll do round table discussions. I don't know yet. There's a- Oh, with, every oh, with everybody? That would be awesome. Like a it. full, like not just one-on-ones, but one against five. Yeah, uh, you say against like it's a fight. No one is fighting, buddy. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, not yet. Battle Royale. Battle I Royale mean, T, grab your sword underneath I mean, your chair. If you, if you bring anybody who has ties to royal guards, Ooh. Then I am going to fight my way out uh, because I have stolen a lot of shit. Maybe one. I, mean, I am the leader. I can think of one person who you might not um, be a very good company with. Everything else is okay. Hmm. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Well then. Yeah. Okay. Do you have any hmm. final words for chat? Hmm. Don't do drugs. Steal shit instead. Oh, be gay to <laughs> arson. Whatever your variation of that. Your Basically. flavor text of crime and theft. <laughs> Yay! Basically, do arson, do crimes. Do crimes. <laughs> not, not, okay, if this is this is not inciting violence in any way. For legal purposes, that was a joke. No. All right! Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming on! Care thee well, Have as they always day. say. Have a ah, As I always say, just like Mother used to say. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Have a great, I will release you to the rest of your day. Have a good time. Goodbye, chat. Thanks. Bye. Yeah.